Are you considering buying a vacation property in the Palm Springs area, but you're not sure where to start? There are so many things to consider. For example, each city and HOA have different rules. Want to know the process of buying a vacation rental property here? Stay tuned. I'll walk you through the process. Hi there. I'm Stefan Richard, the Desert Bowtie Realtor here in the Palm Springs area. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Palm Springs area, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the little bell so you'll be notified every time I do a new video. I'm getting calls, texts, and emails from people every day looking to move or relocate here to the Palm Springs area, and I love it. If you're one of those people looking to buy or sell here in the Palm Springs area, make sure to call, text, or email me 24-7. I promise to get back to you promptly and make your experience as smooth and fun as possible. Many people are buying short-term vacation rental properties here in the Palm Springs area. It's a great way to have a place to stay when you're here in the Palm Springs area and a great way to make a little bit of money when you're not. There are nine different cities here in the Palm Springs area, and each one has different rules and regulations regarding short-term vacation rentals. In fact, short-term vacation rentals are outright not allowed in some areas. And if your property is in an HOA, then your HOA rules and regulations also apply. In a nutshell, the areas that do allow short-term vacation rentals, that is rentals less than 30 days, are Palm Springs, Indio, a few areas of La Quinta, and some areas of Bermuda Dunes, a very small area in Palm Desert and Desert Hot Springs as well. We have events taking place here all the time, year-round. Vintage glamour, sunshine, golf, swimming pools, mid-century modern architecture, great shopping and dining are all a big part of why people want to come here. Not to mention some of the bigger events like Coachella Music Festival, Stagecoach Music Festival, the BNP Paribas Tennis Tournament, and PGA and LPGA Golf Tournaments, the Palm Springs International Film Festival, Modernism Week, and really, a whole lot more. So one of the first things you need to do is determine your budget. The medium home price of an average home in Palm Springs as of March 2022 is $1.3 million. And remember, if you're looking for a home with four or five bedrooms, the prices may get a bit higher. The more bedrooms you have translates into more guests the house will hold, which means short-term vacation rental revenue. For contrast, at the opposite end of the valley is a city called Indio, and the price of the average home as of March 2022 in Indio was $563,395. However, because of its location, short-term vacation rental properties can't demand the higher prices that short-term vacation rental properties enjoy in Palm Springs. So, really doing your homework and financial budgeting as the very first step is really important, and also learning the rules and regulations of the city you're considering that's equally as important. There are many neighborhoods and both single family homes and condos that make great short-term vacation rental properties. Along with all the major events that take place here, people are actually booking longer stays because they have more flexible working arrangements since the pandemic and many can work from here. Many young professionals are booking longer stays. They can work from here and also enjoy a world-class vacation destination at the same time. Also, you'll find that many guests rebook with you after their first stay. So your next step in buying a short-term vacation rental property is researching the neighborhoods, then choosing a property that meets your needs. To make the process easier for you, it's really best to engage a local realtor in the early stages of your search. For example, I help many buyers look for short-term vacation rental properties here and can provide lots of local insight and experience into the entire process, from finding and touring potential properties to writing the offers. In addition, I can suggest local professionals that can help you with many of the services you'll need to get your short-term vacation rental business up and running. Next, you'll need to get the property ready for guests by adding furniture, painting if needed, and making it a fun and memorable place for people to stay. You need to make it Instagram memorable. The next step is to start marketing your property on the popular sites like Airbnb, Facebook, Instagram, HomeAway, and VRBO. Many of our clients market and manage the properties themselves. Others engage local companies to manage the property and the rentals for them. Whichever way you go, a new short-term rental property can be exciting and profitable, but sometimes also intimidating and overwhelming. We've touched on some of the main points you need to consider when buying a short-term vacation rental property. The right property can be perfect for you and your family to make income and of course to enjoy when it's not rented out 
or when you need to get away. Let me know if I can help you with your search for buying or selling a short-term vacation rental property here in the Palm Springs area. Take care and I'll see you on my next video. If you have any questions about buying or selling here in the Palm Springs area, I'd love to speak with you one-on-one. -on -one. Just click the contact Stefan link in the description. There's no cost or obligation. You'll also find more information on my stephanbrichard.com website. Don't forget to like and comment on my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget that little bell so you don't miss my next video. And now I'll see you on my next video.